What about brooding over wrongs done to you? Anybody here ever done that? Somebody does something really nasty and you chew and chew and chew and chew over it like a dog over a bone. You regurgitate it like a cow her cud and you chew and chew and chew some more. It will destroy you. Instead of brooding over the wrong, we have one choice as a Christian, and that is to forgive. If your brother wrongs you, forgive him. How many times? Would seven be enough? No, Jesus said 70 times seven. How about discontent? You remember the story of the children of Israel complaining? And God got so angry at their complaining that he caused them to spend 40 more years in the wilderness. They would have gotten to where they were going in 14 days, and it took them 40 years instead because they complained. One of the things that I noticed about the Indians in the jungle was that they never complained. They weren't Christians. They just accepted life with humility and patience. I never saw an argument between adults. I never saw a fight. I never even saw children fight. I lived right next door to a house where there were three women married to the same man. They all lived under the same roof. They got along perfectly, as far as I could tell, and I could watch everything that went on three, 24 hours a day. They didn't have any walls on their house, and I didn't have any on mine. They watched everything that went on in my house, too. They never complained. They never complained about the weather. We had 144 inches of rain per year. That's pretty bad weather. And whenever we went out for a walk or a hike or a trek, we took it for granted that we would get wet before we got home. Very often the mud was up to our knees. I never in my life saw an Indian complain or heard an Indian complain about the weather. They hardly had any vocabulary words to describe weather, in fact. They didn't talk about it. It was so bad, I guess, they had just long since decided it wasn't worth discussing. <laughs> they would get thorns in their feet. They'd get stung by caterpillars or bees. They didn't complain, even the little kids. I never saw them complain. And of course, my daughter was reared with these children, and so she doesn't complain. I don't take any credit for it. Her husband said to me, this woman never complains. Now, I wonder how many of you husbands have that testimony. How many of you wives think that your husband could possibly say that about you? I know my husband can't say it about me. It's time we brought those complaining thoughts under the authority of Christ. And what's the antidote? Give thanks.